Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. Today we are going to upgrade the shit out of my Smitty Belt compressor. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This whole thing was brought out of, Trevor did this mod years ago to his Smitty Belt. I've been a holdout uh, basically out of laziness because I knew making this video was going to take a lot of time because of the testing. And whenever we air up, Trevor always comes out ahead when he airing up, even with the trailer. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna do the best I can to at least get even with them when we air up. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Smitty Bill compressor. It's ran flawless for over two years now. You can't ask a lot more out of a compressor. My only issue is the connection points for the accessories. It's all a proprietary mount. The plan is to cut off the proprietary air hose connector and put on a quarter inch standard air hose connector. That way I can use any accessories I want. So check the description below for all of the links, including the compressor, all the fittings I use to make this thing work, including I'll have the Harbor Freight ones as well as any uh, similar Amazon ones for easier shopping. I'm gonna deflate all the tires down to 15 PSI and then reinflate them using the Smitty Belt in factory form. That will give us a benchmark as to how long it's gonna to take to do all four tires. I got the truck aired down to 20 PSI, 19.9 technically, and I thought that was good enough. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna spend just forever airing up and airing these down. The Smitty Bill will be plugged onto the battery in the engine bay, and the engine will be on to get the most juice out of the Smitty Bill. Thirteen minutes and forty-two seconds to get the Smitty built in stock form to air up all four tires, and it went from twenty psi, nineteen point nine, to all right around of that forty forty-two psi range. That's kind of what I roll on the daily. All right, let's get this modification done and see if we can do any better because that time was terrible. So from this packet, all we're gonna need is this and this. From this packet, all we're gonna need is the male end that screws onto this end. Now we're gonna take our handy dandy hose cutters and cut the end of this hose off. And I'm gonna cut it as close to the valve as possible. I much prefer using these clamp style hose clamps. You have to use a tool. However, these are definitely more expensive, but they are completely foolproof. They'll never come loose. Now there's no tab to catch on things. This will never come loose, rock solid. And wrap the end in Teflon tape, putting the male valve on. Tighten it down, 14 millimeter, 17 millimeter. I know these are standard. However, I have a toolbox right now next to me full of metric tools. And now with this on, we can use any standard quarter inch air fitting. I know you might think this is weird, but I really like this hose attachment with the single point uh, valve and the gauge right here. So I'm gonna cut this off and make myself another uh, regular female end attachment for this so I can still use it and keep it as a spare. All I'm doing here is using the wrench to give me some leverage so I can spin it and then I'm using my hand to push it down as I spin it. And I sprayed it with a little bit of Windex to give it just a little bit of lubrication to get in here. It's going in just slowly. And this again is just gonna be a backup I'm gonna leave in my toolkit because you never know. And people often ask me, you know, there's better systems out there. How do you still, why do you still use a Smitty belt that you got to plug on your battery? I like the ability to not have something mounted in my vehicle just because you're kind of stuck with it at that point. And also, if someone needs to borrow your compressor, it's easy just to hand them to them. And there's definitely a lot better ways to air up tires. I know a big one is the CO2 tanks, which I like the CO2 tanks. The only thing I don't like about the CO2 tank is going to be the fact that it's finite. I don't like the ability. I don't like the ability just to have something that will run forever. As long as I have power, this Smitty Belt is gonna produce air. Well, unfortunately, the light is not really working so much. I'm gonna try to get one last air up with the modification we've done to it thus far and see uh, what kind of progress we've made because it, maybe it didn't do anything. I don't know, we'll find out because the end part of that hose that I cut off is very, very narrow. All right, let's get one last air up in for the mod we've done so far and see where we've gotten. Run
running our new modded Smitty Belt, but keeping the Smitty Belt actual inflation portion of it, which is a much narrow hose, didn't give us a whole lot of upgrade. It went from 1342 down to 1250. That gives us a 52 second time saving, which I don't know if it's worthwhile for the expense of having to do the modification. I was hoping for a little bit better than that. Now let's try it with the Morphlate and we're gonna go four tires at one go, but not right now, maybe tomorrow. It's a little dark out. We are back to do the final test on the Ultimate Smitty Belt modification, hoping that we see some really good results. Before we get going, I had to make a quick modification to my system. I actually plumbed it wrong in order to use the Morphlate inflation device. What I ended up doing was taking the female end off of the original Smitty Belt little compressor system here, and I swapped it over to the Smitty Belt compressor itself, and then put the uh, male end on here, so now it is correct, and everything will work fine. I just wasn't thinking the whole thing through when I put it together, but now it's fixed, and let's get to testing. I'm aired down and I'm about to air up. The really cool thing about having this new hose line system with the Smitty Belt is I can plug it right into the Morphlate. I don't need an extension cord. It's super convenient, one less thing to pull out of the bag. To make it a more even comparison, I'm actually gonna pull the whole Morphlate system off. I'm gonna rebag it. That way I have to deploy it. Uh, it. It makes it a more even comparison with having to use the single inflator of the Smitty Belt. So that run was eight minutes and 44 seconds. And I feel like it was a lot faster than before, way faster than before I did the modification. And then significantly faster after the modification using the Smitty Belt single inflator. Just having all of them working at one time is just such a much more efficient use of time. I'll put all the numbers for all three runs here so you can see them all side by side. And I'm really impressed with the Smitty Belt. It's been a great compressor. I've not had a single issue with that for over two years and Trevor's had the exact same one for over three years without a single issue. So Smitty Belt, you've really nailed it with this compressor. <laughs> However, Desert Armor has a compressor that's supposed to be like 20 to 40% more PSI um, so I'm really hoping to get my hands on one of those to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let me know if you guys have any interest in seeing a side-by-side -side comparison between the modified Smitty Belt and the Desert Armor, or maybe even another compressor. Just m comment below. Let me know what you guys think and what you kind of want to see. I'll see if I can make it happen. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. It does help the channel. Follow us on IG, and I'll see you guys next time.